because we study problems, we, um, we, we show how you can study problems, which means that we can thematize a problem as a problem, you know, which means that we're studying various possible solutions to it. And since the problems we study are so difficult, um, you know, we're, we're lingering in the moment of inquiry where we generate different possible solutions to a problem. And then we explore for each of those solutions what it has going for it and what maybe some of its pitfalls are surrounding it. And, and I think that's a form of knowledge, a form of knowledge or These form are of understanding. These are issues. And so if people are holding opposing views and you don't understand them, you're in trouble. So how do you understand other people? You use arguments. And arguments mean I don't just understand that you hold a different position, but I understand why, because in the argument you gave me reasons. Various ways. So, um, you know, so as well as the intrinsic value of philosophy, which I, you know, I think it's just, you know, some kind of, the kind of understanding we gain of abstract questions is worth having for its own sake, but, it, but there are actually also quite practical uh, knock-on effects as well. People just like start like trolling each other almost immediately. What we do in philosophy is we stand for a way of thinking about uh, reasoning and disputation that um, kind of allows you to not have to do that frustrating, uh, horrible thing. You know, sort of like allows you to not let your passions lead you into acting like a jerk anytime somebody disagrees with you. But instead, you can sort of say, "Okay, cool. Like, let's step back, um, lay out in detail." what the issues are and see if we can collect them in that camera, right? Shape your view of life and other things just through thinking about basic questions. You, know, you get a, a vision of what human beings are, what their place is in the universe. That can have a bearing on your views about value. Your views about what value is can change things. So it can change the sort of person you are, the way you treat other people, to the way you think about examine all arguments. And so oh, there are many places where you might think that that doesn't have application. Like, Near-death experiences, man, like people say they're floating outside their bodies. What does a philosopher have to say about it? Well, turns out, right, like we want to think they had the experience of floating outside their body, right? And on the basis of that experience, they're drawing some inferences about what actually occurred. And though that space between the experience and the inference, that's exactly where the philosophy is. Really on this planet to training. enjoy us. That's why I do philosophy and play tennis. So we shouldn't be ashamed of people doing philosophy um, because they enjoy it, because their students enjoy it. It's a fascinating and captivating subject.